here's a fall makeup look that I created. I hope that you're liking this so please stay tuned and keep watching. You can use it for any occasion. Um, I just like doing some kind of like a neutral but at the same time not very neutral color for fall. And it has a little bit of purplish brown. I don't know if you can really see the purple but it's kind of like a purplish brown color. Um, it's really fun and it's really nice look for the holidays or like the Thanksgiving so I hope that you like it and stay tuned and keep watching. Apply your face primer. This one is from L'Oreal Studio Secrets. Apply it all over your face. So next time I'm going to use a foundation. I'm using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. I'm going to apply it all over your face. I really like this foundation because it gives you an airbrush finish and it has like a semi-matte um, look to it so it's not really very shiny and it actually makes your skin look um, fresh and glowy. Now don't forget your neck. Then apply a concealer. So apply it on your under eye. Then apply any face powder that you have. This will help set your foundation. So I'm going to be using an eye primer. This one is from Estee Lauder. It's a double wear stain place eye primer. This will help your eyeshadow last longer and it's going to help your eyeshadow not to freeze. Let's take a white eyeshadow. And apply it all over your lid, up to your brow bone. Take a metallic purple. This one is kind of like a purple and bronze color. And apply it in your feet and in your and in your outer crease as well. Then take a black eyeshadow 
Then apply it on your outer crease. Then blend it in. And take a shimmery white eyeshadow again. And apply it in the middle of your lid. Then using a gel eyeliner, I'm using the Wet n Wild gel eyeliner. And for my eyelashes, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm going to be using this heated eye curler because my eyelashes are really stubborn and they just don't go with a regular eye curler. So I'm using a heated curler. Now take your fake lashes. So for the lips, I'm going to be using this lipstick. This one is for L'Oreal. And I'm also going to be using a nude color lipstick to go with it. I like mixing them together because at the same time it's not so nude and it's not so red at the same time. It's a really nice color, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Then I'm going to be putting a new color lip gloss on top of it. I like doing that because you see how it looks. It's a new color but at the same time it's a little bit of color. It doesn't look really pale at 